chiffon hair pronounced like the material and welcome to my channel if you're new to my channel i make videos all about health beauty and fashion and today i'm sharing with you guys a couple of fall pieces that'll help me transition from the warm months to the colder months and if you're interested in watching that keep on watching all right guys, so I'm gonna break this video up into shoes, bags, and a couple of clothing pieces. So first I wanna talk about the two shoes that are definitely gonna carry me throughout the fall and into the winter. First up, these guys. Aren't these the cutest things? So loafers are so in right now. And when I was younger, I didn't really wear loafers because I thought they were like, I don't know, too like masculine. But these with the love bottom, giving that like oversized wolf, they're so cute. And I love this like monochromatic color, like it's all just gray. So I've seen these shoes in the Cosmopolitan. Here's the bottom if you're interested. I've seen these shoes in the Cosmopolitan, the magazine, yes, I still read magazines. And if you guys read magazines, comment down below. <laughs> If you're like and if you're liking this video already please like it and subscribe and if you're already subscribed thank you hard eyes love you so yeah these shoes i've seen in cosmopolitan they're from mark fisher and i will put the link for these shoes below everything i'll talk about in this video i'll link it below and i was in love like i said i said i have to get these so i ordered these in the size i think these are an eight and they fit perfectly. They actually are a little bit roomy. So um, I feel like you probably could go a half size down because they're like an oversized type of look, but you know, eight was fine with me. And uh, I'll put like a little picture of me actually styling these with a skirt and top that I wore. Um, I think I have like a black top from Ur uh, Urban Outfitters and then a skirt from Express and then I'll put some stockings on because it is brisk out here and I'll put these shoes on and it's so cute guys like so simple but so cute so yeah that's my first shoe like loafers are definitely in and I feel like I am able to be on this trend because of the style of that shoe um, with the monochromatic look I love matchy matchy if you guys haven't noticed already my second shoes are oldie but goodie. I wore these all the way throughout winter last year. Guys, I haven't worn them yet. They're a little bit dusty. I need to wipe them off with a cloth. But these boots, okay? These are the boots from ASOS. I'll put up an image of me wearing them last um, fall and winter. These boots literally carried me through the fall and winter of last year. Like I went grocery shopping with these. I went walking down the street with these. I went to brunch with these. I went on girl dates with these. Like, listen, I went everywhere with these. And I love those Prada boots, like the oversized chunky Prada boots, but like those aren't in my budget. So I got these from ASOS and I did get a size, I think these are a 39. Yeah, I wear a size eight um, US or a 39 and um, the 39 fit perfectly, so definitely get these. So those are my two must-haves for this winter that or fall that will definitely carry me through. I haven't bought any heels yet, um, so yeah, just those two. That's what I'm working with right now. I'm trying to be very intentional with the items and like, um, stuff I'm buying for fashion. All right, now let's talk about bags. First, let me bring up this first bag, guys. Look at this color, isn't it so cute? And then look at the um, strap. So you guys know that Bottega bag that is super cute. Everyone's wearing it and it has like the gold um, strap. Well, those aren't my, in my budget right now. So I got this bag from Zara and I'll put a little video of me styling it with some black leggings and I got an oversized, um, what is it? Like a linen top from um, Zara as well. And then I think I actually put like a cute little scarf on and uh, it's just a pop of color. Like you definitely need a pop of color. I think like I've been so used to monochromatic looks for a long time and I've been matchy matchy definitely throughout um, this past year. But now I'm ready to pop out with some color and this bag is perfect. It's so cute. It's comfortable too. 
My next bag, I just got this. So guys, these two next bags I got from Shein. I've never shopped at Shein before. This was my first time. And uh, hold on one moment. All right guys, sorry. My air conditioning came on and I wasn't sure if you guys can hear it or not, but um, I turned it off because I didn't want you guys to not be able to hear me. But anywho, um, so I got two bags here that I got from Shein. I, this is the first time I've actually shopped from Shein. Um, I don't know why I've never shopped there before. Something about like, um, I think I overheard that the shipping was really, really long, but when I ordered it, I was able to get it in the, I think in like three days or something like that. And these two bags are super cute. So this first bag here, like look at this color. So this silver color is like, you know, cool tone. It's going to be so cute on. And then it comes with this strap. Like I literally haven't even wore this bag yet. And I plan to wear it when I go to an event um, next week because I wanted to get a bag that had like the strap on it so I can wear it on me um, because I don't want to put my purse down. But yeah, look at that. It's cute, right? And then silver, silver is like, um, I know, I feel like it's good for the colder months wearing silver. You can wear silver all year round, but I think it just looks really cute in the colder months. So I got this silver one. Like it's, it kind of looks like the Bottega like cassette, but not really giving cassette. It's just the square um, look. And I'm really liking that square look. Like I'm liking structure and the straight lines. Like that's just so me. I love structure and straight lines in everything I do. So I think that's maybe the pharmacist in me, grass, table, straight lines, like I like that. Okay, so this next bag is from um, Shein as well. And I think this was like 11 or $12. So they both were like 11 or $12. So they were really affordable. Um, I've never, like this, this stuff was like really, really affordable, it was crazy. But this is the bag here. Look how cute that is. So it's a metallic bag and I thought this would be so cute just to add something um, nice to your outfit. So like um, a white top, like a t-shirt top or a structured t white t-shirt, some cute jeans and then this bag, it's like a classic look. But it has like a short strap where you can hold it like a little handbag. But then it also has like a long strap that if you wanna wear it like as a crossbody. But yeah, look, it's so cute. And I could fit my phone in here, my credit cards, lip gloss, makeup and stuff like that. Like here's sizing. Basically this is my hand and this is a bag if you weren't interested in, in knowing how big it is. But it's so cute. And then this is it, the um, this square bag. It's kind of bright. Can you guys see? There's the color. And then this is my hand. Ooh, it's dry, y'all. I need to put some um, lotion on. Okay, so that is the bags. Let me talk about the clothing item. So first of all, this outfit I have on, this is basically my uniform for the winter. <laughs> well, for the fall, I love this outfit I have on. Um, I'm going to pop a little video on the side. But I actually did a review for this company. Um a few months ago so i have a top and a skirt from broken land and it is a um fashion line that i really really love i feel like every piece that they come out with really i don't know it just fits me so well and when i wear the items i feel so good so i would say this top that i have on i am not wearing a bra so um there's Guys, there's so many people with motorcycles that drive through my area. All right, they're gone now. Okay, so this um, this company, I feel like, I don't, I, see, now I forgot what I was even talking about. Anywho, I love this company. Every piece is so cute. Oh yeah, I was talking about the top. So I do not have a bra while wearing this top, which I was a concern. I was a little concerned with when ordering because I um, I have a larger bust 
And I'm like, this top, the way it's designed, you can kind of, if you don't have a specific bra that's like, you know, the half cut bra, you may be able to see your bra. And I mean, some people may, you know, be comfortable with that. Um, wearing a bra and then be able to see it throughout the like slits. So here's the slits here. And um, if you're not comfortable with that, you can put something underneath. Or if people are okay with their bra peeking through, like that's if that's your jam, that's your jam. But I didn't want to wear it like that. So I'm able to wear this top without a bra, which I'm very happy with. But this skirt, honey, oh my gosh, I love this skirt. And I have another skirt like this in a different um, color. If you're interested in watching my Broken Land haul, I will link it somewhere above so you guys can check that out. But yes, guys, I love this outfit. This is like my fall uniform, okay? And look at that color, that quality. Let me get close. You guys see that? Oh my gosh. Like, and look at my waist. <laughs> look at the hair. <laughs> I love this hair too. Um, guys, Snob Life. I have plenty of videos about my hair. Go check it out. I'll link one above too. All right. So speaking of another um, fall item, uh, it's going to be the skirt from Brooklyn again. I feel like I need to do another haul because I have new clothes from them. And um, I got some different sizing. So if you're interested in um, me doing another haul for Broken Land, link, um, well, state that below in the comments and I'll do that. But guys, look at this jean skirt. Like I'm wearing jeans in the fall, okay? Like jean or denim material. Look at that. Isn't that the cutest thing? I'm trying to pose for a, what's it called? A freeze frame. But guys, look at this. Isn't this the cutest thing? So I wore this to a birthday dinner. I'll put like a little video up on the side of me. And this skirt is so cute. Like I'm going to wear this with heels. I'm going to wear this with some boots. Um, but yeah, this is so cute and it's a thick material, so it'll still keep me warm. And I'm really into like skirts and dresses, um, nowadays. Well, I've always been into skirts and dresses, but these denim skirts and dresses have definitely been my jam. So yeah, this is the, um, uh, I forget the name of the skirt, but I will link it down below. I got it in a large, but it's so cute. All right, guys, so I'm going to talk about my last clothing item. Oh, no, I have two. So another um, clothing item that I got for the fall is a um, faux, faux leather black pants from MB Finale as well. So I'll put a little video over here. Oh, so cute, guys. Like, I'm so happy I bought these. So I ordered them in size large, but I actually took them to the um, my seamstress to get them cut a little shorter because I'm 5'3". And I wanted to be able to, um, I just wanted them to be a little bit hemmed on the bottom and also taking the waist a little bit because my waist and hip ratio are like different. You know, I have a smaller waist than my hip, so I want stuff to fit a little bit better now. Um, so I do, I am taking my stuff, my clothing items to the seamstress. I didn't used to when I was younger, obviously, because I didn't, couldn't afford it. So I would literally safety pin everything. I would safety pin the bottom of my jeans. I would safety pin that my waist, anything I needed to do to make it look good. That's what I did. But now um, I finally got a big girl job. So I'm able to take it to the seamstress. So that's what I did with these pants. Um, here in the video, they are not altered. They're still at the seamstress now. And um, so hopefully maybe one day if I do a video now, I'll show you guys. Like this is what they look like after being altered. I'll do like a before and after. So um, I'll link them down below. And again, I got those in the side large, but you definitely need like a faux leather pants or you need real leather if that's your jam. I just got faux leather and then also a faux leather skirt. So the skirt that I wore with those gray leather, um, gray loafers, you definitely need either a faux black leather skirt or a faux black short. I feel like a lot of people are wearing um, leather black shorts 
Um, I like the way that shorts look on other people, but for me, I don't know. I don't like shorts on me. I think because I'm short and me wearing shorts, they, I don't know. They, I feel like I, they make me look kind of stubby a little bit. I don't know. Anywho, so this is my, um, that would be my recommendation. Get either a faux leather skirt, faux leather shorts, faux leather pants, because that's definitely in. And they're cute and they're classic pieces that you can wear every fall. Like, it won't go out of style. So my last item is this jean jumpsuit. Guys, when I was younger, I used to wear a jean, this particular jean ju jumpsuit that was from Rainbow. <laughs> and it was a long sleeve, no, it's actually a short sleeve jumpsuit. And it was like a darker denim tone like this. And I wore it, literally, I wore that every week because I don't know, I just loved it so much. But I haven't had a jumpsuit like that in a while. And this jumpsuit I got from Broken Land again. Guys, I tell you, I love Broken Land. Like that brand, every, I just love everything about it. Like the customer service, the shipping, um, the items. Like I just love it. But I got this denim jumpsuit in a large. And I'll put a video of me wearing it in the large. And um, the pants were long, but I wanted to wear it so bad, I just hemmed them with safety pins. And so in this video, now that I'm gonna put up here is me wearing them after I got it altered. So I got the bottom hemmed and my seamstress, she is good, y'all. She actually brought my waist in as well. So it's like custom fits me, it's perfect. But I love this jumpsuit because you can take the sleeves off if it's like a little bit hot. And if I want it, I can wear like a blazer over it. So, and I really, really love like the shoulder pads. So that's what I really like about the brand. Like these shoulder pads, like the structure. I just love structure and lines. I think it looks really good on my physique and also in my home, okay? I love structure and lines. And um, this jumpsuit is just perfect. And um, yeah, so I'll link it down below if you're interested in that as well. But yeah, guys, that, those are my fall items um, so far. I've been actually just picking stuff up here and there and then also starting to incorporate things that I actually got in um, spring and wearing them now because I just didn't wear them throughout the summer. I, I guess I just didn't go outside that much. I don't know. But yeah, I'm definitely able to wear them now. Um, if you're interested in me doing another MB Finale haul or doing another Broken Land haul, let me know in the comments down below. Please like this video if you like it. And if you want to stay, I guess, more in contact with me, is that the word I should say? I don't know, but I have Instagram. And if y'all want to see like more pictures of me, go on Instagram. I do reels. I do like get ready, little get readies with me. And if you're interested in the, watching those, go to my Instagram. It's just Chiffon, my name. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. And that's it. Peace and love.